Well, hi, howdy, everybody. It's, uh, it's your guy. The one with uh, one and a half thumbs. Orthodox Review. The most uneducated educational program in the world. <laughs> Welcome, one and all. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, before we get into the episode, the usual, Patreon, PayPal, blah, 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 blah. Please help. Uh, thank you to all my patrons for helping to continue to make this show possible. It is by God's grace and your your generosity that uh, we continue doing what we're doing over here at the desk. <clears throat> so, uh, today's episode, episode 91, is the alleged prayer rule of the Theotokos from Chiro Publishing. And uh, from the cover, uh, one would get the impression that this is directly from the lips of St. Seraphim of Sarav, but that is not necessarily so. Um, so about the book, it's uh, one of those create space books you find on Amazon. It was done in 2013 by Chiro Publishing. The funny thing about Chiro Publishing is there's two different individuals that use Chiro Publishing as their moniker, this one being uh, Anthony Stellan, and the other one being some guitarist who you know, writes music theory books, but uh, apparently is a Christian. So that's a thing. So, um, so let's get into this. And the first thing I'll say is, as far as like create space books goes, the dude that put this together really spent his time making something beautiful. I'm going to say that right off the bat. Um, just the layout, the, the, the backgrounds, everything is full color. And it really is beautifully made. Um, and so you only have three main sections. You have the history of the prayer rule, uh, the prayers, and then, of course, the prayer rule of the Theotokos. Um, so let's go through the prayer rule first, and then we'll, we'll get into the, the minutia of it all. Um, and again... Um, it's, it's not a very long book, but they spent their time making it beautiful. Um, so you start with the Trisagion, mm -hmm. all the way through. Um, I guess this is a, uh, a translation of some prayers of the author's own design. Come let us adore the King our God, come let us adore Christ the King and our God, come let us adore and bow down. To the only Lord Jesus Christ, the King and our God. Not a bad way of saying it. Um, you have uh, the proper creed. And then, O oh Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim thy praise. And then we get into it. Now, this in essence is the closest thing you're going to get to a Eastern Orthodox Rosary. <clears throat> uh, now, in the Western Rosary, um, on each decade, you would say, uh, you know, the Hail Mary, the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Whereas in this case, uh, you have um, the... Angelic salutation, as we know it, uh, Theotokos, um, rejoice, O Virgin Theotokos, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed is, art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, for thou was born the Savior of our souls. Now, in the decades in the Roman Catholic Rosary, there are these meditations, and as we all know, uh, using our imagination during prayer is not necessarily a good thing, but, uh, but praying in remembrance for something, or for someone, or for the intention of something, not so bad. So the way they did this was, um, this is 150 uh, prayers total, so you have 15 decades. Um, and so it actually goes through the life of the Theotokos. And uh, so instead of, you know, let, let us meditate on blah, 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 it says, let us remember the nativity of the Theotokos. Let us pray for mothers, fathers, and children. Those are great things to pray for. And then, of course, you do the rejoices. And then the short prayer. Uh, Our Lady, Blessed Theotokos, save and preserve your servants. And then you can name parents, relatives, and friends. Increase their faith and repentance. And when they die, give them rest 
with the saints in your eternal glory. And then the Our Father. Um, and then open unto us the doors of your loving kindness. And that prayer can be found in um, earlier in the book. You know, uh, it's it's a familiar prayer. And then so, so and then for each feast of the Theotokos, uh, you get one of these things. Uh, the second one, uh, the feast of the presentation of the Blessed Virgin, the Theotokos, in the temple. And then, so, um, let us pray for those who have lost their way and have fallen away from the church. And so, really, as you go on, let us pray for uh, the soothing of sorrows and the consolation of those who grieve. So, the intentions uh, here, through the rule, are really fantastic. I was surprised by them. Um, they were not what I was expecting. And they are really, uh, really great. Um... Let us pray for the reunion of the separated, for those uh, dear ones or children who are living away from them are missing. Like these, these, these. Let us pray for the birth, rebirth of our souls, new life in Christ. Uh, you know, it's and it goes on and on and on and on, and it, it, it's really like I was I was surprised by it. Um, and then <clears throat> at the end, uh, usually uh, in the Roman Catholic version, it's, you know, uh, the Salve Regina, Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, blah, 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 blah. Here, um, and this is what I've always used to begin with, is uh, truly me to bless the Otheotokos. And then, you know, some Lord of Mercies, and, and then you're done. <clears throat> now... As some people pointed out when I posted a picture for this review, uh, they're like, oh, it's it's BS, you know, it wasn't really written by St. Seraphim. Yeah, no kidding, it says so right in here. <laughs> you fools. So here is the history of the prayer rule. Um, I could read you all of this, but... What's not? So, okay, so as we all know, St. Seraphim of Sarav gave to Father Zosima a, uh, a, a rule of prayer, which actually uh, can be found in many, um, many Orthodox prayer books. And in fact, I'm going to pull one up for you right now. I forgot to mark the page because that's how I roll, yo. Uh, we all know that. So, da da da, Picolius. Uh, okay, so right here, St. Seraphim uh, taught the following rule. Upon rising from sleep before, and before going to bed, our Father, three times in honor of the Trinity, then rejoice of Virgin Theotokos three times, and the symbol of faith throughout the day, and the Jesus prayer and the prayers. And that's pretty much what he gave. So what happened was there is an alleged Bishop Seraphim uh, Zvedinsky of uh, Dimitrov, who uh, was a, a new martyr, is a new martyr of of, uh, of the communist yoke. He reposed in 1937. And he, um, inspired by St. Seraphim of Sarav, developed this rule uh, for uh, the 150 uh, Hail Marys. So, and in the beginning, and it's... It is fully orthodox. I, I, I've, I've scrutinized it, and I, I found nothing uh, wanting in this. Uh, so, rejoice, O Virgin Theotokos, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Yeah, th these are the prayers we know. Um, so, what this is, what this does, uh, really, yeah, open unto us the doors of your loving kindness, O most blessed Theotokos, as we set our hope in you, let us not be... Confounded, but through you may we be delivered from all adversities through the salvation of all Christians. Um, this, what it does is it reclaims an ancient desert tradition. Uh, for those of you <clears throat> who may not be enlightened as to the history of uh, prayer ropes, uh, rosary beads, it all started with, uh, with the monks and a pile of rocks and two baskets or two bowls. And the idea was uh, you would pray a prayer given to you, be it the Jesus prayer or the angelic salutation or whatever. Uh, and you would pray it 150 times uh, because not everyone had the Psalms memorized. 
uh, so it was the mirror of the Psalms. And so thus the 150 um, you know, angelic salutations. And of course, uh, as time progressed, um, you know, the, uh, we were given the prayer rope, you know, there was uh, beads on rope, and uh, I've covered this in another video before, you know, the, the traditions kind of separate depending on, you know, the culture of the area, you know, Western Europe kind of stuck with the beads, and Eastern Europe and Asia Minor stuck with the rope, although plenty of beads down there too. And um, and it's it's around maybe the 8th century that you see a serious departure from one another where, you know, culturally uh, they've separated. Um, so really this is just uh, the East kind of reclaiming their part in the ancient tradition of the West. Um, so... Yeah, St. Cyril from Sarov uh, did not write this, but it was inspired by him. Um, the prayers contained therein and practices are fully orthodox, to the best of my knowledge. They're quite beautiful and a good way of uh, helping us to pray for others. So there it is, uh, the prayer rule of the Theotokos. Um, I think it's, what, 10 bucks? Some jazz like that. You know, link will be below, all that fun stuff. At any rate, uh, whew, all right, we're, we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. It's almost nativity. <laughs> right on. But uh, at any rate, I love you all to death. Thanks for sticking it out with me. Don't forget to go to church, say your prayers, and remember God. And uh, Spooky Cat's digging into something, so i got to go take care of her. See you guys next time.